Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk all about how to repeat your outfits. And this is something that we all do, but I feel like it isn't talked about enough online. So I wanted to break it down a little bit more in today's video. There's three things I want to do in this video. I want to show you the exact outfits I'd like to repeat. I want to show you where I repeat certain elements of an outfit, and now I might change up a couple of things to create new outfits based on something I like to wear all the time. And the third thing is that I want to show you how I repeat outfit formulas. So this is where we find something we really like and I try to recreate it with the other pieces in my wardrobe. Before we get started with outfit number one, I wanted to say that I made winter outfits as well as summer outfits. So no matter where you are in the world, hopefully there is something for you. The first outfit I really like to repeat is taking a black top, tucking it into a pair of skinny jeans, and throwing a plaid blazer over the top. So this is a classic look for me and I wear it all the time from cooler summer days all the way to winter. And I just feel so confident and so myself in this outfit. If I break this outfit down a little bit, the reason why I like to wear the black top and the skinny jeans is because the blazer is quite oversized and I like to balance it out by having something a bit more form fitting on the inside. Being quite petite, I find that if I don't have something form fitting, I feel that I can almost drown in just too much oversized clothing. And this is my way of balancing out the outfit a little bit to suit my shape. This is an outfit I have worn countless times. And I really mean that. I've worn this outfit countless times. But whenever I want to switch it up, I might take elements of this outfit and change up one detail. For example, in the winter time, I might switch out the denim for a pair of corduroy trousers. And I feel like it adds a really cool texture to the look. Whereas in the summertime, what I might do is swap out the jeans for a pair of shorts. And I like to reach for this pair of cream shorts I have from Cezanne. I am still keeping the exact repeat top and blazer and just switching out one element. When I've had enough of these looks and I've done a lot of repeating, sometimes what I might do is just to use the outfit formula. So I'll go to my wardrobe and look out for other blazers and other jeans and I'll mix and match these for more outfit combinations. And this also applies to the silhouette of the clothing. So when I've worn a blazer a lot and I want to switch up the jacket, I'll go for a jacket instead, which still has that oversized look. And I'll stick to the original outfit formula, where I have something more form-fitting on the inside to balance things out. Hopefully you guys can see in the cutaways that the options are just endless. I think the point of repeating our outfits is to get the most out of our wardrobe. And you can see in all three examples, that we are maximizing the potential of our wardrobe and trying to get more outfits using the same pieces or the same concept. A foolproof outfit formula for me is the black dress. And when I used to work in an office, I would reach for this outfit at least two or three times a week. I found it so helpful because in the mornings, instead of starting my outfit from scratch, all I really had to worry about were the accessories. 
um, that would do all the talking anyway. In the cutaways, I show a winter variation of the outfit and a summer. For this type of outfit, I always like to make sure I have one statement piece. And in the winter variation, I have a red bag on. And I feel like that is really the most eye-catching part of the outfit. The bag is such a beautiful and striking red color, which I think just brings a bit of life into this outfit. When it comes to outfits styling the black dress, I always like to make sure I have one statement accessory just to make the outfit a little bit more interesting when I wear it so often. In the winter variation of the outfit, I style it with my APC bag and I feel like because it's a red colour, it really stands out and makes this outfit feel a bit more special. In the summer outfit, I started with a really chunky necklace and I kept my earrings quite simple because I really want the necklace to stand out in the outfit. And I feel like sometimes that little accent is all you need to make the outfit feel finished. I feel like there is so much potential in a black dress. Whether you want to smarten it up with heels and a blazer for work, or whether you want to make it look a bit more casual, styling it with sandals, and making it something you can wear on the weekends. I feel like what was missing in my summer version of the outfit is the denim jacket, and it would make it a very kind of casual look that I would wear if I was running some errands in the city. These are both very comfortable and stretchy options, so I would definitely wear these casually as well as dressed up. In my third outfit formula, I like to reach for black tailored trousers and a more casual top. So in the winter, I'll often wear it with a sweater, and in the summer, it might just be like a casual button-up shirt or a t-shirt. And this is an outfit I repeat all the time. For me, a pair of tailored trousers always gives me that, you know, French girl, capsule wardrobe, um, I only own like five things but I look amazing every day kind of vibes, which I always want to recreate. So I always like to style the tailored trouser and mix it up with more casual pieces in my wardrobe. Obviously black trousers will be a staple in a workwear wardrobe, but for me I also love to wear them casually and just to get a lot more versatility from them. In my winter outfit, I pair it with a simple navy sweater with a tie. Because this outfit is very minimal and very dark, I decided for my boot to be the statement option and I reached for my Isabel Morant Dicker boot, which is like a western style boot in a suede material. Color-wise, I feel like it can match the Celine Nano, so this was my finished look. I really like this type of outfit because I feel like the trousers just look so chic. Um, and they're just like a little bit different to the denim that I wear all the time. It's nice to switch it up with a pair of smart trousers. For the summer outfit, I'll usually just wear a simple crew neck t-shirt tucked into the black trousers, but I decided to opt for a button-up shirt instead. Our summers are probably a bit too hot for this outfit, but I can definitely see myself wearing this in spring as well as in autumn, come nicer weather. Whenever I get sick of this casual top and trouser combination, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to swap out the black trousers for a pair of white trousers. And of course, I'm going to bring out my End of the Stories cream colored trousers, which I really love to wear. And you'll see that the exact outfits work really well with the white trousers as well as the black. A pattern that I like to repeat wear a lot of are my stripes. And it doesn't matter if we're talking about summer or winter, I feel like they work all year round. And with this, with, with stripes, I actually don't have a go-to outfit I repeat because I find that they match with tailored trousers, they match with jeans, anything plain on the bottom, they'll match and they'll kind of rotate through them equally when I wear my stripes. In my winter outfit, I saw the Cezanne James knit with a pair of cream colored trousers. I have probably worn an outfit like this or similar to this hundreds of times because it's such a staple for me and when it's not as cold where I can't wear the James knit I'll probably wear the Leontine with the same type of pairings as I would the James knit. For me stripes and jeans or stripes and a pair of trousers are just a go-to combination and I will never get sick of it because for me it is just so classic and timeless. In the summertime you can definitely opt for a short sleeve striped t-shirt and I actually do also have a Breton long sleeve top, which I'll pull out sometimes as the weather gets a bit warmer. In the video, you'll see I style with a pair of cream shorts I really like and wear a lot of. And for me, it's a very timeless, simple outfit. Whenever I don't know what to wear, I feel like stripes, a simple pair of bottoms, and a couple of accessories that I love 
In this case, the Acme Masubi bag is just the foolproof self formula that I can depend on to feel comfortable and confident in. When it comes to stripes, my go-to and repeat way of styling it is with something simple. So if it's not denim, it's black. If it's not black, it's probably white. And these are kind of my go-to colors um, I like to wear on the bottom whenever I'm styling a striped top. My very last example are my summer dresses, which may seem obvious because, you know, it's a one and done kind of outfit ID. So of course I repeat, I repeatedly wear it. But specifically, I'm also thinking that I repeat it throughout different seasons as well. You guys will know that I love to take a cardigan and put it over a summer dress and just have it look a little bit different and to be able to wear some of them in the transitional season as well. I won't go so far as saying that I can wear them in the winter, but definitely in spring and autumn, I love to layer a sweater over my dresses. And by doing so, I'm also getting more repeated wear from a dress and it just has a little bit more um, versatility in my wardrobe. I want to take the example of my Garni dress, which I love. In the summertime, I might just wear it by itself. Come autumn or spring, one of the things that I like to do is take my white jacket from Cezanne and put it over the top. Super simple, but it does make it a bit more wearable in those transitional seasons as well. And then also, another thing I like to do is to put a sweater over the top. I feel like my navy sweater because it's got the tie detail it works so nice with dresses, but equally, I've also done it with crop cardigans, crop knits, anything cropped, I think works really well styled like this. If you guys have followed me for some time, you'll know that I love to layer on top of my dresses just to make them work for slightly colder weather as well, whether that's cardigans, crop knits, jackets, blazers, you name it, um, just to get that bit more versatility out of some of my summer dresses that can feel a bit too repetitive if I wear it by itself um, for summer all the time. So there you have it. Those are my five outfits that I would repeat and rewear. I would love to hear from you guys now and let me know in the comments down below whether you would repeat any of these outfits I've shown or what kind of outfits do you like to rewear all the time in your wardrobe. Whenever I'm in a style rut, which you know happens pretty often when you're constantly creating outfits, I like to turn back to my basics and go back to these outfits that I feel comfortable and confident in um, and outfits I've repeatedly worn over the years. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I would love for you to go hit the like button, subscribe if you want weekly fashion content from me, and I will see you soon. Bye.